there's no sign that hanging people, gassing people, shooting people, and electrocuting people in the electric chair, A, does anything to deter murders in the United States, and B, if we were to start talking now about the number of innocent people that have been fried, uh, it wouldn't stand up to much examination, this case uh, that's being made for the return of the death penalty, would it? Oh, absolutely. I agree. And I know here in the United States, especially in a state like Texas, where I'm from, the death penalty is quite common. And in a case where you're looking at a brutal murder, it is for many people easy to make that argument that they should go for the death penalty. But then when you actually look at just how often they get it wrong and it is insane to think about them getting it wrong even once, let alone how often they do get it wrong and how many wrongfully convicted people not only spend decades in prison here in the United States, because we do have the largest prison population in the world, of course, us talking about how we're such a wonderfully free country, but that is something that the U.S. has built up to. But in addition to that, they also have a number of wrongful convictions and a number of people who are killed, and then they find out later down the line that either they were not the one who committed that murder or that there was someone else that they should have been going after. And so I agree in that sense of you look at a case like this, but at the end of the day, you know, you have to remember, like you said, it is the state that's carrying it out. And it's shameful how often the state not only gets it wrong, but then faces no consequences for getting it wrong.